So can you tell us a little bit about the look? Yes, the look is, it's a kind of, I call it an earthy warrior. Um, it's a bit of an urban warrior, but it's, to me, it's an earthy warrior because the, the tones in the collection, they're really beautiful earth tones. Um, it's very sophisticated. And uh, I started with this cork shadow. And I did it in almost, there's a hint of like a cat eye, but um, it's, there's no hard lines. It's really soft, so you can't, you know, it's kind of like layering, but you, you don't know exactly what's going on. Um, and then uh, on top of the shadow, I put this uh, liner that actually it moves really, really easily, and then it sets. So it's really easy to work with. So instead of just using it as a liquid liner, you can use it as a shadow, you can use it just to kind of, it has a little bit of a bronze shimmer to it, so I layered it, so it kind of gives it like a, a multi-layered, like almost a molten effect. You know? Is that an existing product, or is that it, common? It is. Um, I will Rich ground. Like a, it's like a bronzy. You see, you see how it moves, even though it's a liquid liner, like a gel liner, I guess. Pretty, isn't that pretty? So you can kind of have it as a shadow like that. You can use it with a brush and do a liquid line with it. Um, and I'm definitely feeling this season. There's a lot more. I'm, I'm feeling more earth tones personally. I'm feeling like there's going to be a lot more um, autumnal kind of tones and feelings mixed with metallics. That's my prediction. But anyway, so um, so keeping it really soft, um, going with the with the uh, rich ground underneath as well. I did uh, brown mascara just on top, so it's not. There's no hard lines anywhere. Um, you want to feel like she can be. It's like the country came to the city, and it's you know it's mysterious and. Um, and then there's this amazing blush from back, and it's this mineralized blush called Laguna. Um, yeah, and there's 77 minerals in it. It's incredible. The the finish of it is amazing. It comes right off, and it's so fine that it it, it blends beautifully. It's not like a, a blush that's gonna kind of stick. It's really gorgeous, and there's a tiny bit of shimmer to it. Um, that's gorgeous. And then um, on the cheeks, we just use a, a cream blush that we mixed up, and we use a little bit of the Laguna on top. And then afterwards, we use a pearl highlighter. It's called Pearl. It's a cream color base from MAC. We highlighted right in here, and in here, and like the bridge of the nose. So it's kind of this kind of earthiness, but there's contours, and there's highlights, and you know, kind of all these layers. And then on the lips, the lips, we did a little bit of concealer and a cream color, which I don't know the name of, but it's uh, kind of a shimmery nude. So she kind of has this glow about her, but um, there's nothing that's forced. It just, it's just, I feel like it's more moody and mysterious. Did Adam have any specific requests for the makeup? Um, no, he definitely said uh, the word warrior to me. Um, uh, the colors in his collection, there, were, there was a section of colors, there was a lot of grays, and there was a lot of these gorgeous earth tones, almost like uh, natural leathers, those kind of poyo colored leathers, rusts that were gorgeous. Um, I felt that, you know, it was more about an eye than a lip, because it was kind of more about this wild, there was a wildness to it, it's kind of this wild woman, um, and I, like a lipstick would be too done in a way, whereas that, it's kind of, you know, um, it's more of a feeling, and it's more of a strength of the woman. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you.